my name is Victoria. I'm the coordinator here at VIU Residences and today we're going to give you a little tour of what we got. Follow me. This is building four and this is the main office and where you can find all of the resident staff. Welcome to residence. So this is our front desk area. This is open 24 seven. Um, you can come here to come and pick up your parcels. If you get locked out of your building, you can get keys. Um, and also file maintenance reports if you need or any other minor assistances that you may uh, require. Here's your package. Thank you. So if you find you have any issues with your toilet, your sink, lights, or your heater, you can come file a maintenance report here. If you find that you do have those issues, we do ask that you do that as soon as possible. So this is our mail room, which is also in building four. Your mailbox number will be the same as your room number. Um, all your smaller mail items can be here, but remember your larger parcels will be delivered to the front desk and you will receive an email if you have a delivery. We offer two grocery shuttles a week, so Mondays and Wednesdays. They depart residence at 2 and will come back at 4 p.m. Students are required to sign up on the sign-up sheet here at the Cedar Center. All the way down the hall. So this is where you will buy yourself a laundry card. So all you're going to have to do is click buy card and then there you're going to proceed and follow the prompts, buy the card for $10. And then once you receive the card from the machine, you will have to load it with money so that you can do your laundry. To check the balance on your card, all you're gonna do is place it in this compartment. And now you can load money onto your card. So this is the main laundry room. We have washers on this side and then dryers on this side. So you can use either liquid detergent or the Tide Paws. Just be sure if you're using Tide Pods, you're putting it inside the drum of the machine. Liquid detergent, you're gonna open this, pour in a little bit, and place it in here. To start your wash, you're gonna tap your card here, and it's $2 to wash and dry, so you're just gonna select whichever preference you want, and then start setting a timer for your laundry so that it's not left here unattended once it is done. Cedar Center also has an ATM. You can take out up to $400. It only dispenses $10 bills at a time. Um, it is affiliated with a different company, so if you have any issues, you can contact them at this number. This is our Community Standards Handbook. It outlines all of our rules and guidelines here at Residence. If you find that you are having trouble understanding what is in here, we recommend using a Google Translate app to gain a better understanding of what is expected here on Residence. Here at VIU, we take sexual misconduct very seriously, especially in regards to consent. We expect that all students abide by the rules of consent. We do not tolerate any unwanted touching or any inappropriate comments. This is the main entrance to the building two. It is one of our traditional single buildings. Um, we have 24 seven on campus security and we also have front desk that you can use if ever you are feeling unsafe. Students are expected to be responsible for their keys and should not be sharing them with anybody else. To get into your building, all you need to do is scan this plastic fob right here if you find that you forget your keys and are locked out of your building, you can go up to the Cedar Center and ask that they let you in. Just so you know, you will be charged $10 if you are locked out. So this is the common room. It is one of the three in building two. Um, this is a space where anyone can come and hang out. You can come and watch TV. You can hook up your gaming consoles. You can come and have a meal or study. Um, one thing to note is that we have quiet hours. So Monday to Thursday, it is from 10 p.m. until 7 a.m. And then Friday, Saturday, it is from 1 a.m. until 8 a.m. Our goal here at Residence is to create an environment of tolerance, mutual respect, and that is free of discrimination and harassment. In Residence, you are allowed to consume alcohol so long as you are 19 years of age. If you are to be drinking alcohol, we ask that you drink it in a plastic container, not glass and that you also only have one serving at a time. Alcohol can be consumed in the common room or your private bedrooms, but it cannot be consumed in the hallways or outside. 
if you are drinking anything, alcohol or not, and decide to go out to any of the bars or to a restaurant, make sure that you are keeping an eye on your drink. And if you need to go use the bathroom, you have a friend watch over it. If you forget about your drink and have it unattended for however long, we recommend that you dispose of it as you don't know what somebody could have put in. If you choose to drink, make sure you don't drink too much. If you do, you may be breaking some of our residence rules. Make sure when you are finished, you clean up after yourself. Cannabis, otherwise known as marijuana, is a legal substance here in Canada. You must be 19 years of age to consume or buy. Um, you are allowed to keep cannabis here up to 30 grams, but you are not allowed to consume cannabis anywhere on BIU property. If you choose to consume cannabis, make sure you are storing it in a well-sealed container just to avoid any lingering smells. Make sure if you are also consuming cannabis that you are not smoking it on residence and that you are not smoking too much as you will be breaking residence rules. Burning anything like candles, incense, or smoking cigarettes in your room or in your bathroom is against residence rules. <laughs> okay, each common room comes with a vacuum available for your use. You could use it either in your bedroom or if you make a mess here or in the kitchen that is dry. Um, please do not use it on any wet spills. Um, and also be sure to clean this out and put it back where you found it once you were in. In your room, if you are using lots of appliances, like a hair dryer, it may set off the lights. In that case, contact your CL so they can help turn the power back on. Cooking appliances like a kettle, a rice cooker, or a hot plate should only be used in the kitchen as using it in your room is a safety hazard. If you need to cook something, please bring your items to the kitchen over here. Building to second floor is the only other area that has laundry appliances for you to use. Okay, if you are going to be using the stove, choose the burner that you're going to select. And so this is going to be the appropriate one. You're gonna turn it on. We recommend cooking at a medium heat. Please be sure that if you are cooking something, you do not leave your pan unattended. And once you are done, please make sure to turn off the burner. If your pan is still hot, please do not put it on the floor or on the counters, but on the tiles provided. In case of a grease fire, make sure to use the baking soda on the counter to put it out. Do not use water. This can here is used to dispose of leftover oil or any cooking grease that is left over in your pan. If you are going to be using the microwave, please use these lids to cover your food to avoid any mess. If you are cooking something on the stove top and it starts to smoke, uh, there is a vent button here. So there are two settings. We recommend turning that on, even if you are just cooking to help with the ventilation. Um, and also be sure to open a window but do not open the door leading out to the hallway as that will let smoke into the rest of the building, which may result in the fire alarm being set off and the fire department coming to visit us. Each kitchen is equipped with a freezer. Please only take what belongs to you. Um, you will also find that we have some brooms or mops used to clean up any mess that you have. And there's also disinfectant available to use to wipe the counters before and after your kitchen. Also comes with a toaster for your bread and then a kettle. Please do not cook anything in your kettle. Each kitchen also has a Keurig to make any coffee if you would like. There is also a sink. Please wash your dishes and take them with you once you are done. If you leave your dishes here in the sink, they will get thrown out. In case of a fire or an emergency, there are fire alarms here that can be used. In the case of a fire alarm or an emergency, please use a designated emergency exit and leave as soon as possible. Students are expected to maintain a certain level of cleanliness in their bedrooms and in their bathrooms. So you are responsible for vacuuming the floor, wiping down your countertops, and also throwing away any of your garbage or recycling outside to the dumpsters and recycling bin. You will be expected to do a bathroom mate agreement with your bathroom mate where you will set expectations for who is responsible for what tasks in cleaning the bathroom. This is your shower. We recommend that you get a bath mat just to prevent any water spilling. 
Um, we also ask that you buy your own soap and other products that you may need. When you shower, be sure that you keep the shower curtain inside of the area rather than outside or else water will come. This is your toilet. Um, students are required to provide their own toilet paper. We also recommend making an arrangement with the person you are sharing your bathroom with in buying toilet tissue. Um, toilet paper can be flushed down the toilet, but feminine hygiene products cannot. In the case that your toilet is overflowing, there is a water shutoff valve behind the toilet. To turn off the water, you have to turn it all the way to the right. If your toilet is clogged, you will use a plunger, which you can get from the Cedar Center, just let the front desk know. If you need to clean your toilet, you will use a toilet brush. We ask that students provide their own toilet brushes. <laughs> just a reminder, the toilet brush is for cleaning. The plunger is for if your toilet is clogged. Plunge a toilet, you're gonna make sure that the suction part is covering the whole of the toilet. So then you're going to push down really hard until it releases. Please take your garbage and recycling to the dumpsters here. One is labeled for garbage, the other is labeled for recycling, such as bottles, plastics, and cardboard. Please do not throw out your room or bathroom garbage in the common room, but rather bring it here to the dumpsters. Residence has beach volleyball court. Also has a basketball or street hockey court. You can pick up a volleyball or basketball up at the Cedar Center. So that concludes our residence tour. We'll see you soon.